Hi, today the project I'm sharing is super quick and easy. It features the lovely Tasty Treats DSP. Now, the Crafty Carrot Collective program throughout February has really encouraged me to run down my supply of this beautiful paper and I'm so happy for it. I hate when you buy a beautiful set of papers and they just sit collecting dust in your cupboard. So thank you to the Crafty Carrot ladies for participating and for giving us some great ideas for putting those papers to use. This little project we did in class this month here in Bendigo. Um, it's quick, easy, it's just we were able to demonstrate a lovely little watercolouring effect there in the ice cream. So you'll get to see that in action now. It's quite a simple one to put together. It shouldn't take too long. I've got a peekaboo peach card base. A whisper white bordering panel. goes on flat there, piece of that Tasty Treats DSP. Layers on top. So we've got that pop of white around the outside. We've got these really cute uh, doilies. I love adding doilies to a project. These ones are in colour ones and that's Watermelon Wonder. I've just chopped it in half. Let me use some tape again to just stick that down in place. Up there in that bottom corner. Next I'm using some tear and tape adhesive. That's a fun one to use when you're adding embellishments to paper and we're using it just for a piece of ribbon. Now in my initial sample I've gone for the uh, the peach ruched ribbon and that works really well here but I've actually used so much of it I don't have much left on hand so I decided to see what it would look like with this piece of flirty flamingo instead. Flirty flamingo is a tone on tone colour with the watermelon wonder it's a, a lighter watermelon wonder so it's a great one to mix in together. It's going to layer that there, it's going to sit behind my sentiment. Giving a little fold and pop that on there. Trim that edge. I go this way. I might give that just a bit of a sharper angle. Next I've cut a circle with the stitched framelit dies. I am loving these dies. You will see them on everything at the moment. They're just wonderful. Because I've trimmed that, I've noticed. Just want it to come a little bit further out. There. Can sit that back a little bit there. Alright, I'm going to stamp this one with the sentiment from the Sweet Sentiment stamp set. I'm loving the best things in life are sweet to match in with these gorgeous little ice creams. A small block here. I like to have a little bit of tacky, a little bit of um, adhesive on my blocks just to help them hold into place really well. Got my peekaboo peach ink here ready. I'm going to stamp that I'm not going straight in the centre. I wanted to go just a little bit more to my right so that I've got room to stick the ice cream on there. When positioning that on the project, I've used dimensionals, but I've been careful to use dimensionals around my ribbon. So I want one at the top here and one at the bottom, directly opposite. If it sits on top of the ribbon in one place and not the other, it could end up looking a bit lopsided. So, Best things in life are sweet. 
Now we're just going to add that little ice cream to finish. And this was a fun one to show the ladies in class, just a little bit of aqua painting. I've got my Day at the Beach stamps in it and it's got this lovely little icy pole that matched in really lovely with those papers. I've chosen to stamp that with Versamark ink onto a piece of shimmer white cardstock. Then I'm adding some white embossing powder. I'm going to heat set that. Move this out of the road. And just add a little bit of colour. So in my initial sample, I added the watermelon wonder to the top and a little bit of peekaboo peach in the bottom. But in class today, I suggested the ladies might like to try a little bit of the pool party because that had a lovely tone that would really tie in those three colours. And the effect was really lovely. So I'm going to give that a go now in my demonstration just to show you a little bit of a different option. Make sure my aqua painter is clean. So with a clean aqua paint, I'm just going to put a little bit of water on my ice cream just to dampen the paper a little bit so that when the ink is applied, it's going to blend a lot smoother. Pick up some ink and I'll just squeeze that. Get a little bit more to play with there. And come along the top. Add a little bit of peach in the middle. And a bit of the watermelon wonder to the base. So you can see because I wet that first, the colours are blending in really well. I'm just going to add a little bit of darker red around the bottom. And in fact, I might just, while the blue is out, pick up as much dark colour as I can and just pop a little bit more dark. Deepen that colour just through the top. And that's going to blend through there. The last thing left to colour is just a little stem. I'm going to add just a little bit more orange. Push that down a little bit. Alright, so the paddle pop stick there at the bottom is a brown tone to match the browns in the paper. I haven't gone with a Sahara sand or a tip top top. I'm just using my early espresso watercolour pencil because I've got that here handy. Give that stick a little picking up the colour like that and just adding it on. I don't want it too dark because I think that's a really good fit for the colours in the paper, nice and light like that. And there you have it, you can use your heat tool to allow it to dry or just set it aside. might use my heat tool today for the purposes of the video. Fussy cut that out. We've got a colourful little ice cream to add to our car front. Just like that. So you can tape it on flat. I like dimensionals. I'm a big fan of dimensionals. 
No, I reckon just one about there. It's going to hold that on nice. And there you have it. A fun little project that features a touch of watercolour. And here's the other option again so you can see the difference. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching.